On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, let's take a look at some Cyber Monday deals, which will give us a good idea of what deals you can get throughout the holidays. All that and more on this episode of SI Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello, everyone. I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to SI Weekly. And uh, I know that this is going to be, you might think this video is valid for one day, but actually the way I see it, uh, companies don't stop wanting your money and being competitive just because Cyber Monday is over. And the deals that you see here will kind of indicate to you the kind of deals you'll be able to find all throughout the holidays leading up to the holidays. That's, that's just, uh, that's how it goes around this time of year. So this should be valid beyond Cyber Monday, though the deal specifically, pricing and availability will change and all that, but you can use this as kind of a guide to get an idea of what you can expect from a few of the companies out there. Now, during my streams for uh, both pre-gaming Black Friday and uh, on Black Friday itself, I would compiled a spreadsheet of some deals. However, it wasn't as comprehensive as the one I had last year. That'll be remedied next year, I'm sure, but there's still some really useful links in this. It is linked in the description of this video and you can take a look in there. I'll actually kind of show you, walk you through it, see what you can find in there and what might be useful to you. Another link you'll find in the description is a link to the sponsor of this video, VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system and cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you CDK deals for continuing to support the channel. Before we get into this, a few disclaimers, this video is being filmed for Monday the 27th of November. Any pricing and availability that you see here is going to change. Uh, that's, I'm not even saying it will likely change, it's going to change. However, you can still use this as a guide to sort of get a feel for what's out there and figure out what you might want as the holidays approach. The second one is that you're going to hear opinions and those are, you know, you're gonna hear my opinions. They're, they're, they're fairly well formed, I believe. I've spent a lot of time scouring uh, system integrators. That's pretty much what I do for a living now. So hopefully that helps. And um, if you disagree, that's totally fine. Please do so politely in the comments below. Or if you agree, also do that in the comments below. Comment something, that'd be cool. I'm down for that. The last disclaimer is that this of course is not financial advice. I'm not here to tell you, buy this. I, I'm sure you're great. I don't, I don't know you. I don't, you're, you, you know, I can't speak specifically to every single individual viewer. I'm going to look at these and remark upon them and you can sort of absorb that information so that you can eventually make an informed decision for yourself. One last thing before we get into this, a bit of advice from someone who's been through a lot of Black Fridays and Cyber Mondays. The whole goal for companies when it comes to Black Friday, Cyber Monday is to get your money, right? That doesn't go away. They continue to want to get your money and be competitive with each other. So when they're applying pressure though, during these days, don't make decisions that you, you can't afford to make basically. Now there are some SIs that are pushing financing Financing something like a gaming PC is something you really need to put a lot of thought into. If there is something like interest free at over 18 months, like Skytech has right now, first off, keep in mind that that is something that is not uncommon. So that shouldn't be your decision making factor there, but also make sure that you can actually pay it off in those 12 or 18 months or six months or whatever the deal is, okay? And just watch out for sh price shifting and bait and switch and all of the things that are done by people trying to sell things, okay? If you see sale prices and you're like, I wonder if Braithorn's covered this PC before, maybe he covered the prices and I can verify it that way. Just go to the YouTube search bar, type in Braithorn. The spelling is, as you see right down here, and the name of that SI. And I'll have videos. Uh, my, I put the name of every SI I cover in each video in the title to help you 
find it through searching and uh yeah take a look there see if i've covered them before find the most recent one see what pricing was like if i cover that specific pc there you go you can compare prices it's not uncommon to see a price that's like oh 17.99 but it used to be 21.99 and then you go back and then you see like it was actually 17.99 all along so yeah watch out for stuff like that that's kind of why i don't cover you know um your your amazon sales and best buy sales and things like that they are notorious for doing things like that okay okay so let's move along let's take a look at the spreadsheet as it stands as you'll see uh it's a bit sparse and there's a lot of red here what's the deal with that well i was hoping to find a lot more things that i could load this up with uh, during both of those streams. However, before I actually got a few spreadsheets from different system integrators prior to Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and I could populate it like that. Uh, however, that didn't happen this year as, as much. Only from one SI did I get that. So I collated what I could. And um, what you have instead is up here where you'll have links to pages where all say all of Meta PC's Black Friday deals are or Cyber Monday deals. Power GPU, Phoenix PCs. Well, that's just their whole site, really. Stints built. They had um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, but they had Black Friday deals that are actually still active for Cyber Monday and things like that. Um, when it comes to SkyTech, the links that I put here for it are they all go to nothing. Well, there's no nothing there. They basically took down other Black Friday deals. However, there's a more deals page, which I guess maybe is a stand in for Cyber Monday. Here's what you got to do. If anything changes when Cyber Monday goes live and there's another page there, look at the notes up here. You'll find that I have changed it and changed the link and everything. If that's the case, if not, this is a deals page that exists already. And code swarm SWARM does stack with any pricing you see there. So you get additional discounts. Another really popular day for sales like these is July 4th, and I might be doing something like this for that. So as it states right here for Phoenix PC, the, the entire site is 5% off with code Braithorn, and systems can be customized upon request. Every system ordered until the 30th gets a free one terabyte M.2 NVMe Gen 4 Kingston NV2 drive added. So that's, you get an additional one terabyte Gen 4 M.2 drive. So as you see here, you actually have a link up here telling you for the de you can look at the details of the uh, actual sales on their Twitter. So looking at the site, of course, if you wanna go, you know, I've gone through a bunch of these PCs before and uh, you can take a look through previous episodes of SI Weekly where I covered Phoenix PCs. I actually have a uh, review of the Siren that I did, a stream of that, and that one was given away and everything. And every system built by Phoenix PC is built live on stream, every system. So when you purchase a system from them, you get to watch the whole process and you can chat with the person building it for you. All of that stuff. Really, really cool. Really, really cool setup over there. And uh, yeah, so there are systems from 879 on up to 2719 for their highest end system, which you can look at the every time you click on one of these, you can go through the process of customizing one, which starts with just picking a color and then each different sort of step will just continue on through here and you'll see all the all the customization options that you have but yeah choose ddr4 ddr5 all that stuff but we can also just come look at the base configuration and see we're going to be going with that yep that's pretty much the process for this and if you want to see what the white system looks like that's what it'll look like right there there you have it so um, we'll leave it at that check out phoenix pc if you want a more budget oriented system of course it starts at 879 it's the harpy right here there you have it and it's the same process right there base specs everything so basically they're covering almost every budget here and you can just see which one fits within your budget, see if the system's satisfactory for you and keep in mind, you will get a discount off the overall price. So now going back to the list here, next one I'd like to look at, let's actually take a look at Power GPU. Now what Power GPU did is they have zero build fee if you do a custom system or they have various discounts off of their ready to ship systems. Now, one thing that you'll you'll want to do is by default, it does not filter out for what's in stock or price highest to lowest or anything like that. It comes just like this. So I will I would recommend you immediately go sort by price, highest to uh, lowest to highest and what's in stock only. There you go. That's what's available. This is probably different by the time you're seeing this. Okay. 
Now take a close look at each of these systems as you're going through. Um, you'll notice there's a system for $699, but it doesn't feature an, a dedicated GPU. This uses the iGPU of the Ryzen 5 5600G, which is not much to write home about, honestly. Um, but if you're looking for something to get started with, I mean, it will operate, it'll do okay. And, uh, but the rest of the system is quite well specced. But if you're looking for sort of a ready to go kind of gaming, gaming PC, I would start with the Yeti and move up from there. And you, they also have included in here, the Power Prime, Power Prestige and Power Elite. This is their power series. Now I will mention that I went through a lot of these during the stream on Black Friday and a lot of these are the same. So that will be linked right here if you want to see me kind of go through each one individually. Uh, I did that a lot for Power GPU on this and I was very very impressed with what they've done with their power series. Really really nice. But those aren't really on a Black Friday sale. Now you can still use my code, code Brayathorn, to get 50 bucks off any system on their site. So you can use that, but um, yeah, it's the power series is not really part of the Black Friday sale, but they are listed on their ready to ship systems. The other ones all do have discounts. So uh, you can take a peek through those or listen to me talk about each one of them in that stream I mentioned. Now, I will be streaming on Cyber Monday, going through a lot of this stuff again, seeing if any new deals that pop up. So be sure to join me. I'm gonna try to start that stream earlier in the day. And I'm talking about I'm trying to start that one maybe at about 2 p.m. Central. Um, might be a little bit later than that. Just follow me on Twitter at Brayathorn, which uh, Cuddles, go ahead and put that like right here. Follow me on Twitter at Brayathorn. That's usually where you can get updates like that. And I know it's not Twitter anymore, but it's also still Twitter. Okay, that's whatever. Back to the show. Now coming back here to the list, we're going to move over to Meta PCs. And again, to get to that, you just hover over the link and then click on it right there. Now this is their ready to ship lineup here. And I think what happened was they sold out of some systems, but it's not very well represented by their standard thing. So what I think is going on here, I think the only four in stock, only one in stock thing is arbitrary and not accurate. And it's not my favorite tactic, honestly. I don't usually like to see something when it's like kind of, and it becomes obvious that something's like a stress tactic, or I try to stress someone into making a decision. Because this says that there are only five in stock, yet it lists it as a pre-order. Only one of these is in stock, but you still have to pre-order? I don't know what's going on with that. And I'm very curious and meta, if this is really something that you guys don't actually track and you just have them on there, just take that off of there. If it's a ready to ship PC, it'll be listed here, but you don't have to do the stress thing. Like people are already stressing out a lot when they're trying to spend hundreds or, th or thousands of dollars of hard-earned money and your work should speak for itself. Your quality and word of mouth and you know, the, the better advertising I've been seeing you guys doing. Thank you for that. I like positive advertising, not negative. You've been doing a good job on that lately. Let that speak for itself. You don't need to stress people out into making a decision that they can't really aff afford to make. You know what I mean? But they do have a wide, wide range of systems here from 919 bucks. And yes, they have joined Operation Code Brayathorn and that will get you a discount off of the already discounted price here on all of these systems, they even through a laptop in here. Uh, but it goes from 919 all the way up to crazy full custom loop liquid cooled systems for over $6,000, which that's in keeping with what you'll find pricing for custom liquid cooled systems. Now, one that really stuck out to me was the Meta Level Up right here. This system comes with a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and a GeForce RTX 4070 for 2489 down from 2800, plus the additional discount you get with my code. Now, the keen eyed among you will find something very unique about this system. And I don't quite know how they managed it. And I, I just gotta know, how you guys manage to use DDR4 RAM with a, with a Zen 4 system. That is truly impressive. And I'd like to know how you manage that. <laughs> Honestly, I think some of these were made a bit in a hurry with, um, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday coming up. And I'm pretty sure that's just an error right there. This should have DDR5 memory. So that, I mean, you don't have the choice when it comes to Ryzen 7000 series, Zen 4 processors, it's all DDR5 all the way down. So uh, yeah, anyway, but there are other good things here and let's talk about those. 
Well, one not great thing is that it uses an uh, MATX motherboard and a full ATX case. However, the Y40 kind of gets a pass here because it blocks off most of the ugliness that you get using an MATX motherboard and a full ATX case. There's a GPU vertically mounted right in front of that. So, and, and besides that, the fact that you have only half height PCIe slots for anything but that vertically mounted GPU means most people aren't gonna be putting PCIe add-in cards in these anyway. But other things in here are really nice. Like the fact that it, this system for 2049 has a two terabyte M.2 drive. Because it's their drive, it says meta right there. I don't know anything about it. And guys, I think it would be really helpful if you're using your own thing to be put here. Is it gen four? Uh, what are the read write speeds? Is there, there's no more info button, nothing like that. Um, like it's a meta 750 watt power supply. What's the efficiency rating? Is it modular? There's a lot left vague here and there's no way that I see to find more info. So as someone who cares about that stuff, which I understand a lot of pre-built buyers don't necessarily care about that, I do. So I tend to wanna to see a little bit more information than just 750 watts and just two terabyte M.2. But I will say having a two terabyte is nice when you have an, a uh, micro ATX motherboard because you can lose some of the expandability for storage when you go with a smaller than full ATX motherboard. Still, overall, I find this to be a good deal. Moving on, what I would suggest is that you take a look through these based on what your budget is. And if you're liking what Meta's uh, doing, if you're picking up what they're putting down, then uh, yeah, you can even tell them, hey, I just want only Intel or I want a specific GPU or just give me price from lowest to highest. And just go through these, see what fits your budget and see if it's suitable for you. Okay, from there, we're gonna go ahead and check out uh, the systems from Stintsbuild. Now, if we click here, these should all be live. So actually, let me just try going to their site and finding a main page. Shop Black Friday deals. Wait, let me see, does it have a date? Okay, now this is through today. So this will be over uh, later today. So what you have here are three systems with Intel platform and one with the AMD platform. So you're gonna have the Black Friday Gamer, the, Ga the Intel Gamer Plus, and the Champion, the highest end one, are all Intel. And the AMD Elite is, you guessed it, AMD. And uh, that one is of particular interest to me because of one we just recently looked at over at Meta PCs, uh, but we'll get to that. So with the, with the uh, budget option here, which is 899 right here, you have some options. That's why it says select options and there's a price range. Let's see what that's about really quick. What you basically have a choice of is using the stock cooler from Intel or getting an RGB cooler. I don't know, and that makes, that shows, it shows a picture of a tower cooler. Now I will say for a 13100F, that's not a hot running CPU in, in generally speaking. And uh, I will mention again that uh, my, I do have a discount code with stints, but it doesn't stack with any Black Friday deals. But still, it's one of our the only options I've seen. Uh, you know, Meta has one, and of course, um, PowerGPU has theirs. That's the non, you know, just iGPU one. Um, but this is one of the most solid systems I've seen for under a thousand dollars, and um, yeah, eight ninety nine with the stock cooler. Which, in that case, you can upgrade your own cooler later on. But I would say that thirty bucks for a tower cooler is about right. Some of the great things you see here, a full terabyte of storage, dedicated GPU and the RTX 4060, okay, 13100F is a solid, the, you know, your i3 processors have always been sort of favorites for building budget systems uh, for gaming, and this will definitely be that. And it has room for upgrades with going to like a 13400 or 400F. And one great thing here is that this is a micro ATX case for that micro ATX motherboard. So you're not gonna have any weird gap at the bottom there. It just lets your cables kind of hang out. It's um, it, it's suited to this case. 650 watt power supply, all that good stuff. 16 gigs of RAM, DDR5, 5600 CL40. So there's actually a DDR5 motherboard and DDR5 RAM on a $900 system or $930 if you get the tower cooler. That's a fantastic foundation for upgrading down the line, things like that. 
And then you have the Intel Gamer Plus. They don't have a picture for this one, but some of these things were, you know, they have to get these things up while they can. Uh, this system is 1599 and 13600K Z690 plus Wi-Fi right there. Um, AK500 Zero Dark uh, Deep Cool Tower Cooler. KC3000 one terabyte M.2 drive. So that is a very fast PCIe Gen 4 drive with 7000 megabytes per second read and sequential read and write speeds. It's a very fast drive. Uh, RTX 4070 all in the G Eclipse, the Fantex Eclipse G300A, which is a great case uh, for a build like this. And an 850 watt 80 plus gold fully modular power supply. Uh, that 13600K can do it all. It can do gaming, content creation, streaming, everything. Uh, that's a that's a pretty sweet system right there. And moving up here, you've got the uh, AMD Elite. Now that system for Meta PCs had a 7800X 3D and a 4070. This one, and that one's about just around 2,500 bucks. This one has a 7800X 3D. So again, the, the, the most powerful gaming CPU out there right now. But this has a 7800X 3D and a 4070 Ti. So it's an upgrade to the, to the GPU. Well, and we know this is at least a PCIe Gen 4 drive. Uh, I'm not sure what W2 means. That might have meant like Western Digital 2 terabyte, uh, but PCIe 4.0. And uh, same, so the G3, G300A for the case, same as the other PC we were looking at, MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi, full ATX motherboard, and a deep cool LS720 all-in-one liquid cooler. And an 850-watt PCIe 5.0, 80 plus gold certified, fully modular ATX power supply, no brand listed, but it's got the important things where you'll, you'll be using a native 12BH PWR connector uh, and in cable rather than an adapter, which is always what I prefer. And this thing for $2,099.99 US. This right here is a monster for a gaming PC if you're trying to get into 1440p gaming or 1080p very high frame rate gaming for esports, things like that. That 7800X 3D, it stomps them all when it comes to that kind of gaming. Plus the RAM is great too. Uh, DDR5, uh, 6,000 mega transfers per second, CL30. So high frequency, low latency, and they matched the sweet spot for uh, Ryzen 7000 series, which is DDR5, 6,000. And knowing stints, they are using the right Ajisa to have that be the sweet spot. So very, very solid system. And then the top of the line one, the champion here, uh, it's going to be top of the line uh, for $2,899 though. Uh, Intel Core i9-14900K and a 4080. So this is their top of the line here. I do want to take a moment to note that right now there's something going on in the industry where you're seeing prices fall if you're looking at, um, if you're looking for just components. You may have noticed something. Uh, there have been some discounts on certain GPUs but for some reason, the 4090 is skyrocketing in price where you used to find them for $1,600 to $1,800. You're now finding that those same $1,650, $1,700 GPUs are now 2,200 bucks. And um, there are likely several reasons for that that we won't go into too much here, but it's it has to do with several factors that could be coming into play or just Nvidia controlling the market like they promised they would. So 4080 is gonna be, uh, for, for a lot of SIs, is gonna be the higher end that you'll find. But one thing I do wanna note really quick, if there's a system of these that you see for a Black Friday sale and the Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday sale is over, you can still talk to them and spec out a system just like this and be like, okay, what would it cost now? Okay, here's code Brayathorn and you still get a discount off of it. It's just discounts don't stack right now. Uh, one thing I want to note here is I love the case they're using. I make no qualms about the fact that I think the NZXT H6 Flow is the, probably the best case they've come out with in quite a long time. I mean, I mean and they've been coming out with some good cases. Uh, I did a full stream where I was uh, transferring the system from one case to another. I will link that up in the top right corner for you if you want to check that out. But this has a 4080, a two terabyte M.2 drive, PCIe Gen 4. 32 gigs of DDR5, 6800 CL34 memory, which is crazy fast. And the, again, that i9-14900K, which is their top of the line, newest beastly CPU from Intel. We're talking 24 cores. That is eight performance cores, 16 efficiency cores. This right here is spec'd out to be a, a monster in any use case you could throw at it. 
Plus, they're using a, a really high spec, uh, well-reviewed power supply here with the MSI A1000G P with PCIe 5.0. Um, yeah, this is a really solid system, especially for less than uh, three grand. One SI I didn't include, I haven't included here because I'm not sure what they're gonna do with their sale would be Paradox Customs. They were having sales for Black Friday and for some reason they have their sale ending in 11, I'm filming this Sunday morning, they have it ending before Cyber Monday. So I went ahead and sent a DM to Arpit, um, he's a, the owner of Paradox Customs, to ask him if the deals are gonna carry through to Cyber Monday or not. Um, because I don't know that, I won't necessarily go through them too much, but I will say, you can find my coverage of Paradox Customs in previous videos, and uh, I've been very impressed with them. I've gotten only, only good feedback from people who have purchased from them, and they have all the latest cases, including the NZXT H6, the Height Y70 Touch, and even the Lian Li O11 Vision. So if you're looking to build a high-end PC in this insane-looking case, which was the collaboration between Lian Li and PCMR, this is the one of the only places I've seen it so far. What I'll do is I'll wait for that answer from our pit whether these prices are going to continue through to uh, Cyber Monday and uh, I'll put that right here. Yes, they will or no, they won't. And if that's the case, if they do continue through, you'll find the link in that spreadsheet. Now, the last one we're going to cover is the one that was a bit frustrating for me, <laughs> which is going to be Skytech. Skytech came out hard for their uh, for, for their Black Friday deals but that page is gone. They could have just like renamed the page for Cyber Monday, but I don't think all those PCs are gone because when I went to their site, there was a thing that said even more deals and I clicked on that and I put that link right here. And that page took, that link took me here. So there are systems that are all on sale here. And yes, Code Swarm, S-W-A-R-M, does carry through uh, and, and stack with their discounts that you see here. There's a lot more systems here, including some that were not up for Black Friday on that page. Now, some deals that might be of interest to you might be the Azure 2 with the Intel 12400F and the Intel Arc A750 for 839. One downside here, 500 gig M.2 drive. I thought you guys didn't have those anymore. Get rid of your 500 gig drives. I know this is a great price. I know this is a great system, but like, at least with the money that you save, although this doesn't seem to be on sale per se, uh, you can go buy yourself more storage and add it in, I suppose. Where you might be interested here is in the system with a 5600X and a 3060 Ti for 9.99, one terabyte M.2 drive, 650 watt power supply, 3060 Ti, still a very capable GPU. In fact, it beats the 4060 Ti in some games and some resolutions, no joke. Uh, there are a ton of systems here, a ton of great systems here. Uh, if you've been wanting to get a system with an Intel Arc GPU, there are several here, including an A750 carrying Azure 2 I mentioned, this Nebula with the uh, 13400F, which is a great CPU, plus the Intel Arc A770, this, this Intel i5-13400F. They actually added efficiency cores in this generation, so you get six performance cores and four efficiency cores in a pretty much budget CPU. It's great. It's very, very versatile, very good C CPU. Um, there, is, are, there are some systems here like this Archangel 4 with a 4060 and an Ryzen 5 7600, meaning you get DDR5 and a one terabyte drive for 1139 before the discount you get with code Swarm. And uh, there's just a ton, there's a ton of deals here. So yeah, you can browse through these. Uh, there's even a chance I may have reviewed something like what you're looking at. You can always check my channel for that because this, the SI that sends me the most systems to review is Skytech, so they get the most review videos. Now, this system is of great interest to me right here. I wanna show this one really quick. This system is the Eclipse Lite, and this one is packing some pretty great tech for the price. You're looking at a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, again, gaming monster. Which means, of course, it's going to have 32 gigs of DDR5. Uh, and of course, it, it unfortunately it is not the ideal frequency for Ryzen 7000 series or Zen 4 architecture, right? To get that one to one memory synchronization. But I can admit that the performance difference is not extreme, but I get it to hit the price point they're trying to hit here. I know I see what they're doing there. 360 millimeter AIO to cool that 7800X 3D. Keep it running cool, last and longer, performing well. Uh, this isn't a full x670 DDR5 motherboard. All x670s are DDR5, of course. 
but the, pro the GPU is an AMD 7800 XT. So you got the full 7800 treatment, full one terabyte drive, 850 watt gold power supply. Doesn't say whether it's modular or not. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, this is a sweet system for 1769. You will get some amazing gaming performance out of this. And um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Another Eclipse Lite, 7800X3D, 7900XT. So that's a step up. 2109. There's a ton of great deals here. So I'm going to go to 13700K and a 4080. Kingston Fury Renegade. They're actually listing out specific parts here. Let's, let's take a second here. I want to appreciate this. Because this is where they start to go a little bit more, a little overboard. And they actually want to tell you on this system, hey, we're putting better parts into this. We're putting, you asked for us to, to, to go higher end on the components. Here you go. Let's just take a second to appreciate this, okay? Using a Cougar Duo Face white case, Intel i7-13700K, not KF. So you can use Quick Sync if you're editing video. And this actually would be a great, great content creation machine. Keep listening and you'll hear why, okay? An Asus ROG Strix Z790A. Look at that IO. Actually quite good, okay? Like you're looking at Wi-Fi 6E for one thing. And then you're looking at six of the faster, um, six USB type A of the faster variety, right? Your 10 gigabit per second, your five gigabit per second, there four of those, and your uh, your standard USB 2.0, so you can mouse and keyboard can go there. And then you have a 20 gig and a 10 gig USB type C. Tons of IO there, okay? It's a gorgeous, gorgeous motherboard too. Like for a white build, are you kidding me? You're getting an NVIDIA RTX 4080. Can you guarantee you're gonna get a white one with the build? No, that's one thing where they cannot guarantee what you're gonna get, uh, but they do. They are specific about the RAM and listen, it's Kingston Fury Beast DDR5, 64 gigs. Yes, two by 32, 64 gigs of RAM in the system. Is it the fastest? No, 5,600 mega transfers per second. But when it comes to doing something like editing video, capacity is king. You're even getting a specific drive, a Kingston Fury Renegade two terabyte PCIe Gen 4 drive that I believe is 7,200 megabyte per second sequential read speeds and 7,000 megabyte per second sequential write speeds. It is in the upper echelon of PCIe Gen 4 drives and you get two terabytes of it. This thing is sick. It looks great. It has all the specs you need for getting into pretty much anything you want to get into. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and um, actually link this one directly in the spreadsheet. At least we'll have one system that's not marked in red from SkyTech there. Um, <laughs> just so you guys can go straight to it for those of you looking for a high-end system, or S-W-A-R-M. So shipping is free and with code SWARM, you get an additional discount right there. It's gonna pop up in just a second. And there it is. Right there, 90 bucks off right there. Bring the system down to $29.09 with free shipping. All you gotta worry about is taxes and paying for the rest of the system. And yes, SkyTech is pushing a eight in 18 months, no interest financing deal on this. So, I mean, that's, I already gave you the talk about financing a PC. So that is up to you. Are there more deals out there? Sure there are. Are there tons of deals on Amazon and Best Buy and Newegg? Sure there are. I just find a lot of those suspect. When it comes to SIs, you know, there, there was, this system went, the, the unique went from $3,200 down to $29.99. That's realistic. That's a realistic price cut. Some of the ones I've seen on Amazon and Best Buy are like, what? How, how was it that much before? There's no way, there's no way. So that's why I stick with looking at system integrators. You guys can look all you want at Walmart PCs and, and, and uh, you know, some of you guys can legitimately say, I have to buy it from Best Buy because that's where I have a Best Buy credit card. Okay, I get that, I do. But if I have my way, I'd, I'd have all you guys buying directly from the company that's building the PC. Anyway, I hope you guys decide to come out and hang out for the stream. Um, we do have some very interesting streams coming up, at least one very interesting stream coming up in early December. Um, but I'm gonna try to be streaming all, you know, all throughout December leading up to the, to the holidays just to help you guys make some good decisions out there because that's all I want. I just wanna make sure you guys uh, don't make any decisions you're gonna regret or get a system that isn't everything it could be. 
because if you're going to many of you no matter what anybody says or does you're gonna buy pre-built my job is to make sure you buy the best one for your needs and your budget that's what we're good we do around here so if that's appealing to you and hit that subscribe button and all that good stuff so that uh, you can join the community and make the best decision possible. That's the goal. Anyway, until the next one, take care.